Welcome to Picture Scripture Memory System for the Book of Acts. In this extended video, we will talk not only about the chapter titles and the pictures, but we'll also give an explanation of what lies below the titles actually in the biblical text. So we'll actually give a summary of the biblical text as it relates to the titles of each chapter. So hang on, here we go. This is the extended explanations of the text based on the titles and the pictures for each chapter of the book of Acts. First of all, you need to learn the number system. Chapter 1 will have an arrow. Chapter 2 will have a bicycle, two wheels on a bicycle. Chapter 3 will be triggered by a tricycle, three wheels on a tricycle. And chapter 4 will be triggered by a car, four wheels on a car. Chapter 5 will be triggered by a hand. Give me five. So keep in mind the one is an arrow, two is a bicycle, three is a tricycle, four is a car, and chapter 5 is a hand scene. Give me five. All right, we're ready to begin. So just sit back and enjoy these humorous pictures. Acts chapter 1. Axe 1 is seen in the arrow rocket, which looks like a 1. Axe is represented by a robot in all the Axe pictures. Christ the Lamb is being shot up. So, Christ goes up. The robot is told to stand on a mat and shoot as high as he can. For Matthias. Christ goes up. Luke said that he would tell Theophilus what happened after the resurrection. After Jesus had risen from the dead, he told the disciples to stay in Jerusalem until they were baptized with the promised Holy Spirit. They wondered if Jesus was now going to restore the kingdom to Israel. Jesus said the dates were not for them to know, but that after receiving the Holy Spirit, they would be witnesses for Jesus in Jerusalem and to the ends of the earth. Jesus ascended into heaven. Two white-robed men announced he would come back some day, just as they had seen him go up. Matthias. Peter announced to the believers that Judas, the betrayer of Christ, had fulfilled the scriptures. Judas, after betraying Christ, hung himself, and the place was called a Keldama, or the field of blood. Peter said they were to pick someone to become a disciple in place of Judas. They cast lots, and Matthias was chosen. Acts chapter 2. The two wheels of the bicycle represent chapter 2. Spirit comes down is the dove, which represents the spirit falling out of the tree. The robot sucker cost a penny, so it's a penny cost or Pentecost. Spirit comes down. At the Feast of Pentecost, seven weeks after the resurrection of Jesus, the disciples were meeting together, and a mighty wind blew, and tongues of fire appeared. People began speaking in other languages, as the Holy Spirit empowered them. Many Jews from around the world heard them and were amazed. Some dismissed them, saying they were drunk. Pentecost. Peter preached to the crowd, saying they were not drunk, but that this was the fulfillment of the prophecy by Joel, that in the last days God would pour out his Spirit. Peter then cited David's statement, You will not leave my soul among the dead, as being fulfilled by the resurrection of Jesus. Peter told the Jews that the Jesus they had crucified had risen from the dead and was now seated at the right hand of God the Father. His words convicted their hearts. Peter announced that if they repented and believed in Jesus, they too would receive the Holy Spirit. Three thousand were baptized into the church at that Pentecost festival. Acts chapter 3 Chapter 3 is seen in the three wheels of the tricycle. The robot's foot is hurt, so he is the lame man. Peter, the dog, is barking out a sermon for Peter's sermon. Lame man. Peter and John were entering the temple. They saw a beggar who was lame. Peter announced that he didn't have any money to give him. Instead, Peter commanded the man to get up in the name of Jesus. The man began walking, leaping, and praising God. Many were astonished at what was done. Peter's Sermon Peter preached in the temple area to the Jews. He said that the lame man had been healed in the name of Jesus, whom they had delivered up to Pilate to be put to death. 
Peter said he realized they did it in ignorance and that the scriptures needed to be fulfilled that the Messiah must suffer. Peter said that it was through Jesus that the promise given to Abraham that all nations of the earth would be blessed was now being fulfilled. He invited the Jews to believe in Jesus. Acts chapter 4 There are four wheels on the dog pound truck, which represents chapter 4. Peter the dog had been imprisoned by the dog catcher, which is Peter imprisoned. The group of dogs sharing one bowl of food is community sharing. Peter imprisoned. After healing the lame man, Peter and John were telling the people of the resurrection of Jesus. Five thousand believed. The leading priests had Peter and John put in jail. The high priest and others asked Peter by what power he had healed the cripple. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, told them that it was in Jesus' name. He said that there was salvation in no other name but the name of Jesus. The Jewish leaders threatened them, telling them not to speak any more of this. Peter responded that they must obey God rather than man. Many were praising God for the miracle, and so they had to release Peter and John. Community Sharing All the believers were of one heart, and everyone shared with others what they had. There was no poverty, and people who owned land and houses sold them for the benefit of others in the community. Barnabas was among those selling a field and giving the money to the apostles to help those in need. Acts chapter 5 Chapter 5 is the hand, as in give me five. Ananias and Sapphira is the robot which had a sapphire on its hand. Hand Ananias and Sapphire. The angelic release is the angel taking or releasing the ring off the robot's finger. The elf's name is Gamal, so he is Gamali Elf for Gamaliel. Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias and Sapphira sold some property and brought the proceeds to the apostles. Ananias claimed it was the full amount but held some back attempting to deceive the apostles. Peter rebuked him, explaining that they were lying to God, not just to the apostles. Ananias, the husband, fell down dead. Several hours later, his wife, Sapphira, came in and lied in the same way that her husband had. She also died. Great fear gripped the entire church. Angelic Release The apostles were doing miracles and teaching in the temple area. Many people believed in Jesus. The high priest, filled with jealousy, had them thrown into prison. At night, an angel came and released them, commanding them to tell the people the message of life at the temple. The next day, the high priests discovered that they weren't in the jail cell. They had Peter arrested once again. Peter told them he had to obey God rather than man. Peter proclaimed that Jesus, whom they had crucified, was the Savior and sitting at the right hand of God. The high council was furious and wanted Peter killed. Gamaliel There was a respected old Pharisee named Gamaliel who addressed the Jewish high council. He cited two examples of Jewish rebels who had been killed. Their followers had scattered and their movements fizzled out. He recommended that the council not kill the apostles. He said if what the apostles were saying was from man, it would die. But if it were from God, then it would not be wise to fight against it. The council accepted his advice and ordered the apostles never to speak in the name of Jesus again. The apostles left rejoicing and continued to teach that Jesus was the Messiah. The number system for chapters 6 through 10 is... Chapter 6 are six legs on a bug, so it'll be a bug scene. Chapter 7 is heaven, so this will be on the sign a heavenly scene. Chapter 8 is a roller coaster. If you turn your head sideways, you can see the 8. Chapter 9 will be a doctor's head mirror, so it'll be a doctor scene with a mirror looking like the number 9 on the top of a doctor's head. And chapter 10 will be 10 Little Indians. All right, let's get started. Acts chapter 6. Chapter 6 is seen in the six legs of the bugs. 
Deacon is used to represent deacons. Stephen is the robot foot step on as he steps on the bugs. Deacons. A problem arose among the believers. The Greek speakers complained that their widows were not receiving rations from the daily distribution of food. The apostles wanted to focus on the preaching of the word of God, and so they decided to choose seven men full of the Holy Spirit to administer the food distribution program. Stephen was one of those. These seven were called deacons. Stephen. Stephen was a man full of the power of God who performed many miracles. He debated with some men in the synagogue. These men persuaded some evil people to lie about Stephen, saying he was blaspheming. They said he was speaking against the temple and the customs of Moses. As the accusations came, Stephen's face shone like an angel's. Acts chapter 7. 7 is a heavenly number. Stephen is standing in the clouds of heaven, which symbolizes the number 7. Stephen on earth has been stoned, while Stephen in heaven is giving the robot a speech. Thus, it's Stephen's stony speech. It's Stephen's stony speech. Stephen defended himself against the false charges of blasphemy. He went through the history of Israel, telling of Abraham's faith in God's promise. God had kept his word, giving Abraham a son, Isaac. Jealous brothers sold Joseph into Egypt, where God provided for Jacob and his family in a time of famine. God multiplied the Israelites in Egypt, as he promised Abraham. Moses was raised up to deliver the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. Moses predicted that God would raise up a prophet like himself. The Israelites often rejected Moses' leadership and were idolatrous, making a golden calf. David found favor with God, and Solomon, his son, built God a temple. But God lives in heaven, not in a temple made with human hands. Stephen then accused the religious leaders of killing the Messiah, God's son, and disobeying the law of God. The Jewish leaders were infuriated and attacked him as he looked into heaven, seeing Jesus standing at God's right hand. They stoned Stephen to death. Saul was one of the ones consenting to Stephen's stoning. Acts chapter 8. The 8 is seen in the roller coaster, which is an 8 sideways. Saul is the saw. The mouse, Philip, is a mini mouse or a small mouse. The mouse is Philip's ministry. Simon Magus is the robot, which has a magnet head. The Ethiopian eunuch is the fellow being made a eunuch by being sawed in two. Saul. Saul, later called Paul, was one of the official witnesses to the stoning of Stephen. Philip's Ministry Because of persecution in Jerusalem, the believers scattered everywhere, spreading the good news about Jesus. Philip went to Samaria, where he proclaimed Christ and cast out demons. Simon Magus While Philip was preaching in Samaria, a magician or sorcerer named Simon believed. Simon followed Philip when he saw the miraculous signs Philip did. Peter and John, hearing that the people in Samaria believed, came and the Holy Spirit was given to the Samaritans. When Simon saw the power of the Holy Spirit, he offered to buy the power. Peter rebuked him for trying to buy the power of the Holy Spirit. Ethiopian Eunuch An angel of the Lord told Philip to go south to Gaza, where he met an Ethiopian treasurer who was a eunuch. He was returning from worshiping in Jerusalem. He was in his carriage reading the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked him if he understood what he was reading. The Ethiopian read, He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. Philip told him that Isaiah 53 was talking about the sufferings of Jesus. The Ethiopian believed and was baptized. As they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away, and the Ethiopian never saw him again. Acts chapter 9. The nine is seen in the robot doctor's mirror that's on his head. Damascus Road is the road going out the doors. Early ministry is shown because it's the robot doctor's first operation. 
Peter is a dog being operated on. The robot cusses as the table hits the doors, or door cuss. Damascus Road Saul, desiring to imprison and persecute Christians, was traveling to Damascus. On the way, a bright light beamed down on him, and a voice asked him, Why are you persecuting me? Jesus told Ananias, a believer in Damascus, that there was a man called Saul of Tarsus at the Straight Street who would remain blind until Ananias laid his hands on him. Ananias objected, saying he had heard what terrible things Saul had done to believers in Jerusalem. Jesus told him that Saul was his chosen vessel. Ananias met Saul and explained that Jesus had told him to lay hands on him. Scales fell from Saul's eyes. He received his sight and was baptized. Saul was later named Paul. Early Ministry Paul began preaching that Jesus was the Son of God in the synagogues of Damascus. The people were amazed and asked if this wasn't the one who had done bad things against believers in Jerusalem. The Jewish leaders of Damascus couldn't refute him, so they tried to kill him. Paul escaped by being let down over the city wall in a basket. He returned to Jerusalem, but the believers there were afraid of him. Barnabas told the apostles about what had happened to Paul and introduced him to the apostles. The Jews of Jerusalem also tried to kill Paul, so he was taken to Caesarea and escaped to his hometown, which was Tarsus in southeastern Turkey. Peter and Dorcas A believer in Joppa named Tabitha, or Dorcas, was helping the poor. She became ill and died. Her friends begged Peter to come and see her. When Peter got there, the people were weeping and showed Peter coats that Dorcas had made for them. Peter told the dead Dorcas to get up. She did. News of the miracle spread throughout the whole region. Acts chapter 10 The Indian, as in ten little Indians, tells us it is chapter 10. Peter is the dog eating cornmeal mush from the machine. Cornelius is the cornmeal mush. Peter and Cornelius There was a Roman army officer at Caesarea named Cornelius, who was a devout man. One afternoon he had a vision where an angel told him that there was a man in Joppa called Simon Peter whom he should contact. Peter was praying and fell into a trance. The sky opened and all sorts of animals came down on a sheet. Peter was told to kill and eat. Peter objected, saying he had never eaten meat that was unclean according to Jewish standards. The voice told him that if God declared it clean, he should not say it was unclean. Cornelius's messengers found Peter. While it was not proper according to Jewish custom to enter a Gentile's house, Peter told Cornelius that God had shown him that he should not call anyone unclean. Peter told Cornelius about Jesus who died and was raised to life. Even as Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came on those who heard. Peter was amazed that even the Gentiles received the gift of the Holy Spirit. Cornelius, a Gentile, received the Holy Spirit and was baptized in Jesus' name. The number system for chapter 11 through 15 is chapter 11 are the pole vault uprights. So the two that look like two ones in the pole vault holding the pole vault bar. Chapter 12 is a clock, 12 o'clock. Chapter 13 will be a ladder, kind of like unlucky, like walking under a ladder is an unlucky thing to do. Chapter 13, an unlucky number. Chapter 14 is a trucker CB talk 10-4. 10-4 CB trucker talk is 14. And then lastly, 15 rhymes with lifting. So there'll be a picture of a li person lifting something. 15 is lifting. All right, we're ready to begin. Acts chapter 11. The two uprights on the pole vault look like the number 11. Peter tells of Cornelius is Peter, the dog, holding up the trophy for winning the cornmeal mushathon, which is 
Cornelius. Scattering to Antioch is the robot coming down on top of and scattering the anteater for Antioch. Peter tells of Cornelius. Peter returned to Jerusalem. Some of the Jewish believers there questioned why he ate with Gentiles. He told them of his vision of the sheet with the unclean animals where God told him not to call unclean what God said was acceptable. He told them how Cornelius had an angelic vision which told him to send and find Peter at Joppa. He explained how the Gentiles received the Holy Spirit. This answered their objections, and they rejoiced. Christians scatter to Antioch. After the persecution in Jerusalem, many believers scattered to Antioch. There they began preaching the gospel to the Gentiles. The church in Jerusalem sent Barnabas to witness what was going on in Antioch. Barnabas was filled with joy that the Gentiles were receiving the Holy Spirit at Antioch. After Antioch, Barnabas went to Tarsus to find Saul. Acts chapter 12. Twelve is the clock, with twelve o'clock. Peter's angelic release is Peter the dog coming out of the clock. James is the bottle of jam getting hit and broken by the clock's pendulum. Herod is the hay rod being used by the robot. James and Herod's deaths. King Herod Agrippa began persecuting believers. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. Since it pleased the Jews, he imprisoned Peter. Later, Herod, having hosted a delegation from Tyre and Sidon, put on royal robes and gave a speech. The delegation responded that it was the voice of a god, not a man. An angel of the Lord struck him dead with worms for not giving glory to God. Peter's Angelic Release Peter was imprisoned and awaiting trial. He was chained between two guards. In the middle of the night, an angel appeared and told him to get up and leave. The chains fell off, and the prison doors were miraculously unlocked. He went to the home of John Mark. The servant girl recognized his voice and ran back to tell the others without opening the door. They didn't believe her, thinking Peter was dead, and it was his angel. Finally they let him in, and he told them the great things God had done. A search was ordered, but Peter was nowhere to be found. Acts chapter 13. 13 is the ladder, as both walking under a ladder and the number 13 are unlucky. First MJ, or first missionary journey, is the first bottle of moo juice, or MJ, at the bottom of the ladder. Paul the bear is giving a sermon on a phonograph as he is gently turning, or Gentile turning. The robot has a magician's hat on, making him the magician. First MJ. While the prophets and teachers of Antioch were worshiping, the Holy Spirit told them to separate Paul and Barnabas for special work. Paul and Barnabas went on their first missionary journey, or first MJ. They sailed to Cyprus, and then to the cities in central South Turkey. John Mark went with them as an assistant. Paul's Sermon and Gentile Turning Paul preached a mighty sermon in the synagogue of Antioch in Pisidia. He told them how Christ fulfilled the Old Testament promises of God. The Jewish leaders had killed Jesus, but God had raised Christ from the dead as foretold in the Psalm of David. Many Jews accepted their witness, but the Jewish leaders became jealous and slandered what Paul had said. Paul explained that the gospel needed to come first to the Jews. Since they had rejected it, he was now turning to the Gentiles. Magician When Paul was on Cyprus, there was a Jewish magician named Elymas who had worked his way into favor with the governor. The governor invited Paul and Barnabas to come and speak with him, but Elymas told the governor not to pay any attention. Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, told Elymas the magician he was a son of the devil, and that he would become blind. When the governor saw the miracle from the Holy Spirit, he believed. Acts chapter 14. Chapter 14 is the truck, as in Trucker CB Talk 10.4 or 14. First MJ is the bottle of Moo Juice, MJ. 
The cripple boy is pouring the MJ into the robot. The boy in the wheelchair represents Heel's cripple. The robot is being put on a platform as a god and drinking Listerine for made gods at Lystra. First Missionary Journey Paul and Barnabas continued their journey to the cities of Iconium, Lystra, and Derbe. John Mark deserted them at Perga. Paul and Barnabas preached powerfully in the synagogue of Iconium, and many believed. Those who did not stirred up trouble and incited a mob to stone them. Paul and Barnabas found out about the plot and escaped. Heels Cripple After fleeing Iconium, they traveled to Lystra, where Paul noticed a cripple man who had never walked. The man had the faith to be healed, so Paul told him to stand up, and he did. Made Gods at Lystra The people of Lystra saw that the cripple man had been healed. They exclaimed that Barnabas was the god Zeus, and Paul was Hermas, because Barnabas was larger, and Paul did most of the talking. Paul and Barnabas tore their clothes, declaring they were mere men. Paul explained that the God who made heaven and earth gave them rain and food. God was calling them to turn from their idols. Some Jews came from Antioch and stirred up the people. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city for dead. Acts chapter 15 15 rhymes with lifting. The robot is lifting the count of Jerusalem up to look in the microscope. The Jerusalem count is counting cells in the microscope for Jerusalem count cell. There is a tape measure around the toilet which is going around or circumscribing the toilet for circumcision. John Mark dispute is the mark in the John which is being looked into and disputed. Jerusalem Council on Circumcision Paul and Barnabas arrived at Antioch in Syria, having just returned from the first missionary journey. Some Christians came from Judea, telling the Christians in Antioch they had to be circumcised or they couldn't be saved. Paul and Barnabas traveled to Jerusalem. Peter told the Jerusalem Council that the Gentiles had received the Holy Spirit just as the apostles had. If God had cleansed their hearts, why were they seeking to require circumcision? The apostles then wrote a letter to go with Paul and Barnabas back to Antioch, asking only that the Gentiles abstained from meat offered to idols and immorality. Circumcision was not required. John Mark Dispute After some time, Paul wanted to revisit the cities they had visited during the first missionary journey. Barnabas agreed and wanted to take John Mark. Paul would not have it, since John Mark had deserted them on the first missionary journey. The disagreement was so strong that Paul and Barnabas split up. Paul took Silas on his second missionary journey. For the number system for chapters 16 through 21, 16 will be six strings on a guitar. So there'll be a guitar in the picture. Chapter 17 is the one and the seven in the house floor and the roof. If you turn your head sideways, you can see the number 17. Chapter 18 will be the one and the eight on a set of glasses, where the glass stem will be number one and the eight from the frame surrounding the lenses. Chapter 19 will be a drum. And so you'll be able to see a one and a nine in the drum. 20 will be 20 blackbirds. All right, we're ready to begin. Chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. 16 rhymes with six strings on the broken guitar. Timothy circumcised is the robot with the tape measure circumscribing him. Macedonian call is the priest calling for a mass on behalf of the broken robot. Lydia is the lifted lid of the robot. Philippian jailer is the jailer that flipped the lid of the robot. Timothy circumcised. Paul returned to Lystra where he found young Timothy whose mother was Jewish and his father a Greek. Timothy was circumcised out of respect to the Jews. Paul and Timothy strengthened the churches which were growing in faith and number.
Macedonian call. The Holy Spirit instructed Paul and Silas not to go into the province of Asia. Instead, they went up to Troas, where Paul had a vision of a man from Macedonia saying, Come over and help us. They concluded God was calling them to preach the good news in Macedonia. Lydia, Paul and Silas sailed for the city of Philippi, which was a major city in Macedonia. On the Sabbath, people gathered by the river outside the city for prayer. Lydia, a seller of purple cloth, believed the gospel and was baptized. She then urged Paul's group to stay with her. Philippian Jailer In Philippi, Paul was met by a demon-possessed slave girl that told fortunes. She brought great profits to her masters. She followed Paul and Silas, proclaiming that they were servants of the Most High God. Paul, in the name of Jesus, cast the demon out of her. When her owners saw that they could no longer turn a profit, they had Paul and Silas put in jail. The mob, sanctioned by the town officials, stripped and beat Paul and Silas and cast them into jail. At midnight, when Paul and Silas were praying and worshiping, an earthquake blew open the doors of the prison. The jailer, seeing the doors open, assumed the prisoners had escaped and was about to kill himself. Paul called out, telling him to stop. All the prisoners were still there. The jailer came in, trembling, and asked what he must do to be saved. They told him to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and he would be saved. Paul then informed the city officials that he was a Roman citizen, and so the beating and imprisonment was illegal and contrary to the decrees of Rome. They released Paul and Silas immediately. Acts chapter 17. The number 17 is seen in the floor and roof of the house sideways. Jason's house assaulted is Jason's house being salted by the robot. Mars Hill is the spaceship from Mars. The hill on which the house is sitting is thus called Mars Hill. Jason's house assaulted. Paul and Silas traveled to Thessalonica where there was a Jewish synagogue. Paul reasoned there for three Sabbaths, saying that Jesus was the Messiah. Many believed in Jesus. The Jews stirred up trouble. A mob came to the house of Jason. They didn't find Paul, so they dragged Jason before the city council. They accused him of treason against Caesar, saying Jason was loyal to another king, Jesus. Mars Hill Silas and Timothy stayed in Thessalonica while Paul made his way down to Athens. He debated with the philosophers there at Mars Hill. The philosophers of Athens were interested in hearing Paul's new philosophy. Paul began to preach to them, making mention of their altar to the unknown God. He told them God needed nothing, and that he was the one that provided for the needs of the whole earth. Paul explained that they were his offspring, and therefore shouldn't think of God as a dead idol of gold. When Paul mentioned the resurrection of Jesus, the philosophers laughed at him. Some wanted to hear more later. Acts chapter 18. 18 is seen in the lenses and stem of the woman's opera glasses. Priscilla is the prissy woman with the opera glasses, and Aquila is the woman with the aquil feather on her hat. Before Gallio is the two women looking at the rocket taking off from the gallery. Apollos is the Apollo space rocket taking off. Priscilla and Aquila. Paul came to Corinth where he met Priscilla and her husband Aquila. They had been expelled from Rome under Claudius's decree. Paul made tents with them in Corinth. Paul preached to the Jews at Corinth that Jesus was the Messiah. When the Jews rejected the message, he shook the dust from his robe and declared that he was going to the Gentiles. Before Gallio, God spoke to Paul in a vision telling him to speak out boldly, for God would be with him and no one would harm him. The Jews dragged Paul before the governor Gallio. They accused Paul of teaching people to worship contrary to the Jewish law. Gallio rebuked Paul's accusers, saying the argument was just over words, and there had been no wrongdoing on Paul's part. Gallio drove them out of his court 
and the mob of Corinthians grabbed and beat Sosthenes, the leader of the synagogue who had helped organize the mob against Paul. Apollos. After Paul left Corinth, Apollos arrived. He was a Jew who was eloquent and knowledgeable in the scriptures. He spoke powerfully in the synagogue. Priscilla and Aquila took him aside and explained the scriptures to him. He believed and began powerfully teaching that Jesus was the Messiah using the Old Testament scriptures. Acts chapter 19 The number 19 can be seen in the sides and rim of the drum the girl is playing. Ephesus receives Holy Spirit, is the sad girl having received F's in high school. High school is abbreviated HS, which stands for the Holy Spirit. The girl is imitating the way the robot is playing, for imitators. She is really good in art, so she's an artsy miss, or Artemis. Ephesus receives Holy Spirit. Paul was now on his third missionary journey. Traveling to Ephesus, he found believers who knew nothing of the Holy Spirit. They had been baptized into John's baptism only. Paul told them John told the people to repent from their sin. John spoke not of himself, but announced the coming of Jesus who came after him. The Ephesians were then baptized in Jesus' name and received the Holy Spirit, spoke in tongues, and prophesied. On the third missionary journey, Paul spent two years at Ephesus. Imitators. Paul stayed at Ephesus for over two years teaching in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. God gave him power to do amazing miracles. Some Jews who were traveling from town to town used Jesus' name to cast out demons. Once these imitators were trying to cast out a demon in the name of Jesus, whom Paul teaches. The evil spirit responded that he knew Jesus and Paul, but asked who they were. The demon then attacked them. Word of this spread throughout the whole region of Ephesus. Exorcist Paul stayed at Ephesus for over two years teaching in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. God gave him power to do amazing miracles. Some Jews who were traveling from town to town used Jesus' name to cast out demons. Once these imitators were trying to cast out a demon in the name of Jesus, whom Paul teaches. The evil spirit responded that he knew Jesus and Paul, but asked who they were. The demon then attacked them. Word of this spread throughout the whole region of Ephesus. Great is Artemis. Demetrius, a silversmith for the goddess Artemis, or Diana, found he was losing money because so many people were becoming followers of the way. Followers of the way was how Christians were known then. He started a riot at the temple of Artemis, with many shouting, Great is Artemis, goddess of the Ephesians. Some Jews dismissed the crowd, warning them that Rome would be upset with such rioting. Paul left for Macedonia. Acts chapter 20 The number 20 is remembered by the 20 blackbirds. Eutychus is the bird grabbing the bear's tie and the bear cussing. You tie cuss. Paul's farewell are all the F's waving goodbye to Paul the bear. Ephesus is the F's waving goodbye. Plans Jerusalem is a dome and city on the horizon, which is Jerusalem where Paul is planning to visit. Eutychus. Paul, about to leave Ephesus, was speaking on Sunday when believers were celebrating the Lord's Supper. Because he was leaving the next day, he preached until midnight. A young man named Eutychus, sitting on the window sill, fell asleep and tumbled out the window three stories to his death. Paul picked him up, and he came back to life. They all went back upstairs and celebrated the Lord's Supper. Paul's Farewell, Ephesus Paul was in a hurry to return to Jerusalem. He returned near Ephesus from Macedonia. He wanted the elders of Ephesus to come to Miletus, so he could say goodbye without having to spend time in Ephesus. He told them the Holy Spirit was drawing him to Jerusalem, and that imprisonment and suffering awaited him there. He said he would never see them again, and that he had faithfully preached the kingdom and the good news to them. 
he commissioned them to feed God's flock there. They prayed and wept together. Plans Jerusalem Paul told the elders of Ephesus that he was going to Jerusalem. The Holy Spirit had told him trouble awaited him there. He must, however, go to Jerusalem. The number system for the last eight chapters here, our chapter 21, is a coat hanger, which is a, a one, looks like a one, and the hanger itself looks like a number two. So a coat tree and a hanger for a 21. 22 are two twos in the shape of a heart. And you'll notice the one, two is the correct way, and then kind of like you're dyslexic, the second two is turned around backwards to make the heart. So the hearts then will tell us 22. 23 is plenty keys, kind of rhymes. 23 is plenty keys, so there'll be keys in the picture for 23. Chapter 24 is a 24-hour that's open 24 hours, so it's 24. 25 is two fives, or two sets of five toes, um, and the barefoot being barefoot, okay? So two sets of fives on two sets of barefoot toes, 25, two fives. 26 is two picks. Two picks is 26, kind of rhymes. 27 is two sevens on the sails of a boat. The one will be a proper seven. The other one will be flipped around backwards for two sevens for 27. And then finally, chapter 28 will be two earrings on each of the women. The two earrings are the number eight on their earrings. So two eights uh, for the earrings on number 28. That's the number system. Now let's get into it. Acts chapter 21. The two and the one of the 21 are seen in the hangar. Agabus is for a Gabby nurse. Paul at Jerusalem is Paul the bear in the Jerusalem hotel. Agabus. Traveling by boat to Caesarea in Palestine, Paul stayed with Philip the evangelist. Agabus, who had the gift of prophecy, came from Judea. He took Paul's belt and bound his own hands and feet with it. He declared that the owner of this belt would be bound by the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem. Paul's friends begged him not to go to Jerusalem. Paul explained he was ready to be jailed and even die for the sake of the Lord Jesus. Paul at Jerusalem. Paul traveled to Jerusalem. He was welcomed by James and the elders of the church at Jerusalem. Paul told them how God had worked among the Gentiles. The elders told Paul that many were saying he was teaching people against the law of Moses. They advised him to go to the temple and join a purification ceremony which would dispel the rumors. They restated that the only requirements put on the Gentiles were that they shouldn't eat meat offered to idols and should stay away from sexual immorality. Some men from near Ephesus saw Paul at the temple. They stirred up a mob against him, accusing him of having taught the people to abandon the law of Moses. They pointed out that he had brought an uncircumcised Gentile Trophimus into the temple area. They dragged Paul out of the temple area and were about to kill him. The Romans stepped in and arrested Paul while the people were screaming, Kill him! Acts chapter 22 The number 22 is found on the heart of Paul the bear. One two is reversed to make the heart. Paul's defense is Paul, the bear, fencing or defending himself against the robot. Paul's defense. Paul began his defense speaking in Aramaic, so the Jewish mob quieted down. He told them he was a Jew from Tarsus, who had studied at the feet of Gamaliel. He had been zealous for the Jewish law and persecuted followers of the way. He had been going to Damascus to persecute Christians there when a bright light blinded him, and Jesus spoke to him. In a trance, Paul was warned 
that the people of Jerusalem wouldn't believe him. At this point, the people screamed for Paul to be killed. The commander was preparing Paul for beating when he discovered Paul was a Roman citizen. Because he was born a Roman citizen, he was not whipped. Acts chapter 23. 23 is plenty keys as a rhyme. Question of the resurrection is Paul the bear trying to resurrect the robot using a lightning bolt. He's not sure it's going to work, so there is a question of the resurrection. Paul's danger is Paul the bear in a dangerous position holding the wire where the lightning will flow down into the robot. Question of the resurrection. Paul was brought before the Jewish high council. As he began speaking, the high priest ordered him struck. Paul called him a whitewashed wall and a bad judge. When they told Paul it was the high priest, he explained he hadn't known that. Paul then saw that part of the group were Sadducees who didn't believe in the resurrection of the dead, and another part were Pharisees who did. He then proclaimed he was a Pharisee, and that the question of the resurrection was why he was being tried. The group was split, with the Pharisees wanting to take Paul's side. The Roman commander pulled Paul out of the crowd. The Lord came to Paul that night and told him he would preach the gospel in Rome. Paul's Danger More than forty Jews took an oath saying they wouldn't eat until they had killed Paul. Paul's nephew heard of this and warned the Roman officers. The commander got two hundred soldiers and put Paul on a horse to carry him down to Caesarea. Paul was taken that night down to Caesarea and presented to Governor Felix with a letter from the commander at Jerusalem explaining the situation. Acts chapter 24 the 24 is in the sign for 24-hour cat service, or the cat with two sets of four whiskers. Felix is the name of this cat. Felix, the high priest Ananias, arrived with a lawyer to make a case against Paul before the governor, Felix, at Caesarea. Ananias accused Paul of inciting riots against Rome and being a ringleader of a sect called the Nazarenes. Paul defended himself, explaining that he went to Jerusalem to worship and didn't incite a riot there. He acknowledged that he was a follower of the way, but worshipped God and believed the Jewish law. Acts chapter 25 Twenty-five is seen in the toes of Caesar as two fives, or twenty-five. Festus is the festering thorn in Caesar's foot. Appeal to Caesar is the apple peel that the robot is giving to Caesar. Festus. Paul remained in prison at Caesarea for two years. When Festus became the next Roman governor, the Jews from Jerusalem came down asking him to try Paul in Jerusalem. They were hoping they could kill Paul on the way there. Paul told Festus he had done nothing against the Jewish law, temple, or the Roman government. Appeal to Caesar Festus pushed Paul to go to Jerusalem for trial, but Paul said that he would appeal his case to Caesar. Acts chapter 26 Two picks rhymes with 26. Agrippa is the tight grip the boy has on the two picks. Almost is the robot which almost has the boy's pick hooked to save him. Agrippa. King Agrippa came to Caesarea and Festus discussed Paul's case with him. Agrippa invited Paul to speak in defense of himself. Paul told him he was a Pharisee and was being attacked because he believed in the resurrection of the dead. Paul confessed that he himself had imprisoned Christians. He told Agrippa how on his way to Damascus, Jesus blinded him with a bright light and told him to preach that the Gentiles could have forgiveness of sins and become part of God's people. 
Festus shouted that all Paul's study had driven him crazy. Almost. Paul, believing King Agrippa, was almost persuaded, asked him if he believed the prophets. Agrippa rebuked Paul for thinking he could make Agrippa a Christian so quickly. Agrippa told Festus Paul had done nothing worthy of death, and that he could be set free if he had not appealed to Caesar. Acts chapter 27. The 27 is seen in the two sevens which compose the sails of the boat. Voyage is Paul the bear in a boat on a voyage. Voyage to Rome. Paul was put on a boat with some prisoners and sent to Rome. Because of headwinds, they sailed north of Cyprus. Paul warned them that trouble awaited them if they put out to sea from Crete. They ignored his advice. A storm came up. The sailors threw the ship's cargo overboard. Paul announced that an angel told him they would all survive, but that the boat would be shipwrecked. The storm blew them until some sailors put down a lifeboat. Paul warned them they would perish unless they stayed with the ship. After many days, Paul encouraged the group of 276 to eat. As they approached a coastline, the boat got stuck in the rocks and the waves smashed it. The prisoners were spared, but they had to swim ashore. Acts chapter 28. 28 is the girl's two earrings, which are two eighths. Island of Malta is the island girl serving a malt shake. Rome is what the bear is trying to do as the robot commands, Row, man. Island of Malta. Having been shipwrecked on the island of Malta, Paul was bitten by a poisonous snake while making a fire. The people of Malta assumed he was a murderer, and the snake was biting as God's way of bringing justice. Paul shook it off and suffered no consequences. The people then decided he was a god. Paul healed many sick people on the island, and as a result, the group that had been shipwrecked was honored. Rome. Three months later, Paul was put on another ship and journeyed to Rome for trial. Paul was given private quarters and guarded by a soldier. Paul called the Jewish leaders at Rome to come visit him. He explained that he was accused because he believed in the Messiah. Paul taught them about the scriptures and about Jesus. Paul stayed in a rented house for two years in Rome, preaching the kingdom of God to anyone who visited him. Congratulations! That was the long one on the book of Acts, with all the explanations below the titles. Now, hopefully, you know the pictures, the titles of each chapter of the book of Acts, as well as getting an understanding of what's below the titles. And now, you need to jump into the book and read it in detail, the book of Acts.